another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today is another rant day because I want to talk about one of the most incredibly stupid watch releases, at least in my opinion, in recent times. But before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the Breitling Chronomat Evolution. I uh, stayed indoors most of the day today. Miami's really nasty outside, so leather strap watch. And I really love this bad boy with, like, the the reverse panda dial. Lovely. And also, a quick shout-out. If any of you guys is looking for uh, um, a really nice vintage Tudor Oyster date, check out Delray Watch Supply, my website, delraywatch.com. I just got an awesome Tudor Oyster date and a great Omega Mark 40. You guys are going to want to check it out, delraywatch.com, link in the description below. But anyway, today's video is supposed to be another topic, but I read this article a couple days ago on a blog to watch and my head almost exploded. The Richemont Group has come out with a new watch brand. A new entry-level watch brand. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? It's called Bohm. Wait, don't they already have a Bohm? No, no, no. Bohm, not Bohm and Mercier. Bohm, technically no relation to Bohm and Mercier, even though there is a relation, um, is their new watch brand. It's a watch brand that is fully customizable and is made out of uh, renewable materials. You know, customizable on their website that runs anywhere between $530 to $1,100. Entry-level price point. Nothing wrong there, right, guys? Wrong. This is one of the stupidest projects, in my opinion. I'm very passionate about this. First of all, why don't we start with the watches? $530 to $1,100, fully customizable. Well, first of all, $530 is quartz. And $1,100 gets you a lower-end Miyota movement. Did I say Miyota? Yeah, these are not Swiss watches. They say designed in Geneva, and they say customized watch at the bottom to make you, you know, from afar, it almost looks like it says Swiss made. But no, these are $1,100 watches with like $15 movements that are kind of modified to be turned into a regulator. Awful. Awful. Eight, and, you know, yeah, I, forget the, the, the ridiculous price. But also, this is like Richemont's first foray into non-Swiss watches. Um, to me, this is all marketing and no substance. This is marketed towards kombucha-drinking millennial hipsters who live in Williamsburg. Yes, I used to live in Williamsburg. Kind of hate kombucha, though. That have way more money than cents. $1,100 for Miyota Movement. You know, if actually, I kind of want to start a GoFundMe so we can buy one of these and I can set it on fire because it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. Uh, and, you know, the design, I like the design. It's handsome. I mean, it's very Daniel Wellington-esque, but I think they're just kind of ripping off these fashion watches, you know, Daniel Wellington, Vincero, whatever, and because they're Richemont, they can charge you $530 to $1,100. Yeah, I mean, listen, if if this is the way the watch industry is turning, you know, I quit. I, honestly, I totally quit. And then, so the only way this can be successful is with marketing. So let's talk about marketing. Beautiful website, watch configurator. However, boom, Richemont, way to confuse the living crap out of people. To name another brand, Bohm, which you claim is not in relation to Bohm and Mercier, even though Bohm and Mercier technically legally owns the entity that makes the Bohm watches. So you, Bohm, but not Bohm and Mercier, but still Bohm. The communication is so wrong there. The marketing is so off that I don't know what to tell you. And you know what? The sustainable materials and configurator stuff just feels like you stole every Kickstarter idea of the last 10 years, and you're like, we'll roll it all into one. We'll make an, an eco-friendly watch with a cheap Asian movement 
with a website configurator and that's what everybody wants, you know, because that's pretty much what like every crappy Kickstarter microbrand has done, except these are all the ideas into one. Guys, I don't know what to say. I'm frustrated. I think this is an awful idea. I think this is laughable. Uh, you know, I used to work for Rishma. I don't know where this even came from. I mean, Jesus. Is this what it's coming to? Really, is this really what it's coming to? I don't know. Guys, if you want to read the article, blogtowatch.com, uh, I'm not even going to link to the Bomb Watchers website because, like, I don't want to taint the description box of my video with that link. But, you know, yeah, listen, maybe I'm overreacting, but I'm being 100% honest. I think this is awful. Anyway, guys, if you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. I'd really like to know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment description below. Comment description. Comment section, rather. This thing's fried my brain. I can't look at this article anymore. It makes me angry. Whew. Gusfaba. Guys, thank you for watching another episode of Federico Talks Watchers, and I'll catch you in the next one. And hopefully the next one isn't about something as stupid as this.